Hello everyone, this is BJ Sadiq, author of uh, Let There Be Justice, The Political Journey of Imran Khan. Um, of late I've heard a lot of uh, chatter about Imran Khan being the pawn of the military establishment. There's a lot of commentary out there that says that Imran Khan is backed by the military and that Pakistan uh, is, uh, is still uh, not out of the woods, it is still not a genuine democracy. Well, this negative commentary is, is mainly emanating from the, the Western press, some parts, some sections of the US media. And uh, well, we must also, when there's that side of commentary, we must also look at the brighter picture. This is the second time that a government in Pakistan has successfully changed hands. The second time when a government in Pakistan has successfully completed its full tenure. Uh, the, the enthusiasm that we witnessed on the uh, close to the elections and on the election day uh, was unprecedented and uh, we saw people traveling miles within the country to cast their vote these are new developments in Pakistan we saw old decrepit women men driven on wheelchairs to cast their vote we saw people flying in from abroad to cast their vote there's increased politicization of the youth in the country we must when there's criticism when there's negative commentary we must also acknowledge the brighter picture that pakistan is gradually bit by bit despite the glitches is drifting towards genuine democracy it will take time rome wasn't built in a day uh, the, the fact that this 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 negative commentary is coming from the us is quite amusing uh, because the us itself in my thinking has not been a genuine democracy it is it largely represents interests of large corporations and industrialists ostracizing a vast section of its own population from the decision making process look at what they did in in latin america throughout the 50s and the 60s and the 70s look at what they did to iran in 53 to to guatemala in 54 to to chile to el salvador uh, to 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 brazil in the 70s the the us run contra forces were br brutally uh, repressing, crushing any pro-democratic movement or any ultra-nationalist movement in Latin American governments, beating infants against rocks, uh, chopping off people's heads and putting them up on stakes, cutting off breasts of women, peeling off their uh, facial skin until they bled to death. So the, the brutality was unprecedented. And, and, and these people, they talk about any, any form of uh, ultra-nationalism in third world, the US has been against it. So, so this commentary, I, I, I appeal to Pakistanis and overseas Pakistanis and all you know, uh, pro-democratic forces around the world, that any such commentary should not be taken to heart. The challenges for Imran Khan are grave at the moment. It's a real test of his nerves. Abraham Lincoln once stated that nearly all men can stand adversity. But a real test of a man's character is when he's given power. Thank you.